in California at another dairy farm and they got an 80 stall De Laval rotary milking parlor. And there's a couple cool things about this farm. They milk 3,700 cows and they don't have any on-farm milk tanks. They load the milk directly onto a milk truck, which is pretty cool. That's where the milk trucks back up to. So on this farm they're milking a different breed of dairy cow called a Jersey cow and they're brown cows. Cows are getting on to get ID'd and they also have a teat one here that does the pre-dipping on the cows. And then they got a guy stripping, cleaning and hanging towels under as well. So it looks like there's three people working on this one rotary here. And then there's also a herdsman back there so they're milking quite a few cows in this site again as well uh, with minimal labor. So. so what we see here is called a Tetuan and that's the actual brand name for this thing. It kind of slides underneath the cow's udder and you guys see it spraying what's called a pre-dip on and that's a disinfectant and it'll be wiped off. It just helps clean the cow's teats before that milk claw is hung up. Yeah. So something to note around the rotary milking parlors, there's all these ropes everywhere and that's a safety. So if anyone is in a bad situation while this thing's turning, as you guys can imagine, it's a pretty powerful machine to turn 80 cows around plus all the equipment, the floor. So if you pull that string, uh, it's gonna stop the rotary right away. And that is all the way around the rotary and even on the inside of the rotary, there's another string you can pull and that's just a safety. A couple other cool things we can see here on the outside of the rotary. Obviously the back end of the cow is here. It's got a brick floor. So this is a special floor. It's not concrete, it's not rubber, it's bricks. And they do this because it's gonna last forever. It won't wear out near as quick as any other material. And it's actually pretty grippy as well. It looks like it would be slick, but uh, you can feel there's quite a bit of texture in all these bricks. And it gives the cows a good grip to stand on. And also we've seen this on other rotary milking parlors. They got the kind of leg splitter here. So I guess that'll actually also protect the milk cloth from falling on the bricks and it'll keep the cow's legs separate. And this does a ton of things. They have a TRS here, which is a robotic uh, post dipping arm. And it's a real robotic arm. We'll check it out here in a second. Uh, it keeps the legs split so that that arm can get in between the cow's legs and clean her udder and spray the post dip. And uh, it also makes it easier for the workers here to clean the teats, hang the milkers under and uh, milk the cows. So they're pretty cool. I know I have a couple cows in our herd and I wish we had something like this, keeping their legs apart. This barn's incredibly clean. It smells more like a swimming pool than an actual barn. So all of the milk that comes off of that rotary goes into this reservoir and then it pumps into the cooling system. And uh, there's some filters right there for the milk. And this is the plate cooler. This part is well water, this part is glycol. And you can feel the milk line coming out of that plate cooler. It's ice and ice cold. On the other side of this milk room here, we can see there's four bays for trucks to load. So the truck has been backed up to this bay and they'll load the milk directly into this truck. I guess this one's getting filled right now. No milk tanks, which would be a huge cost saver. So there you can see they stopped the rotary spinning, probably loading a cow up in there. Again, the standard De Laval setup underneath. And this is another one of those safety wires I was telling you guys about. You can just pull that and it'll stop it. So if someone's working down here like a service tech or someone maybe was touring and fell or something and got in a bad situation, 
uh, they would automatically stop. This is a receiver jar. There's two on this rotary as well. So all of the milk, I guess, from half of the rotary goes to this receiver jar, and then it goes to the center where it then gets hauled over to the milk tank. And yeah, there's two of those receiver jars on this rotary, so half of the rotary is sent to the middle. It looks like there's also another safety trip right here. So obviously this whole mechanism is moving. If someone was standing here or had some equipment here and it tripped that yellow bar, it would stop the entire rotary again. Uh, it's all about safety when you're working with something like this. You don't want someone to get hurt or a cow to get hurt. So uh, yeah, it's pretty well thought out. Another thing that we notice with the cows in this rotary and the other ones that we've seen, a lot of the cows are just standing up there chewing their cud. They don't actually get any feed on this rotary either, which seems to be common practice out here. And the cows are fighting to get into the rotary and they're all chewing their cud when they're on here. end of the rotary cycle where the cows are almost going to be getting off and there's another display screen here so you can see all the cows that are in each stall here and it'll also tell you through that speaker when one's been prematurely kicked off you know how some cows they can be a little bit stubborn and kill, kick that milker off a little bit early and at the end of the rotary something really cool here they have a TSR it's called a teat spray robot and this is kind of De Laval's take on a post dipping robot it's got a cage around it here to protect, I guess, people that are standing around it. You guys can just watch it work and it's gonna spray the iodine on the cow's teats. So this thing's got a camera on the front of it and it can look for the cow's teats. It looks for them and then it sprays that iodine post tip on there. A disinfectant to make sure that the cow's udder stays nice and healthy. This is some pretty advanced way of doing that. It's got a little control screen for it. Big red button, something goes wrong, hit that. And we also have a butt pan here so something like this cows are gonna get their teeth sprayed a lot of them are gonna crap right here on the rotary so just this small section has a manure tray or a butt pan so when the cows do crap they'll crap in that pan you don't want to get any manure or something on that eye the camera of that robotic arm because then it won't be able to see the cows uh, teats but it does clean itself conveniently as well so Another cool thing to show here, right at the end of the rotary, right before the cows get off, there's some water spraying and it's just spraying all the milk claws nice and clean uh, before they go and are hung under the next cow.
it's pretty cool to see how good of a job that robotic arm actually does put in the iodine on the cow's teats. You always want to make sure that the teat end and a little bit up is covered in that disinfectant. And this robot, from what I can see, is doing an excellent job. So there you see the two milk trucks. They're parked right beside each other. Um, the way they kind of do the milk trucks, I guess, there'll be one filling, one parked there ready to go, and then the other two trucks will be going to the milk plant. And I believe he said every four to five hours, one of those milk trucks is pulling out of here. So that's pretty crazy. Uh, the milk, you know, it's cooled right down to that safe temperature of below 40 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm sure that's around one or two degrees Celsius uh, when it goes into that tank. So no tank cooling on this farm, just, you know, that glycol cooler in that plate cooler. Cools the milk down cool enough straight into the truck and then straight to the milk plant. That is a pretty efficient way of doing things, I guess. I just want to give a quick thank you to Total Dairy Solutions TDS today uh, for getting us on this farm and showing us around. Jeff is the guy that toured us around, so shout out to him as well. And uh, they're actually the De Laval service provider for us up in Saskatchewan. And they're located all the way down in California as well. So they cover a broad range and they do all kinds of dairy equipment. So thanks to them. And another cool thing, the farm that we're touring today in the video is called Vieira Dairy and they have a bunch of really nice cows. They're actually putting on a sale March 5th for some cows and uh, they've achieved some pretty cool stuff with their herd and their cows. So I know there's always some dairy farmers out there looking at sales for cows. This would be the one to check out. That'll be linked in the description down below as well. So now we're at a cheese plant it's called Hillmar Cheese Factory. And as you guys can see behind me, they made this place look incredibly awesome. A lot of milk is brought to this milk plant and they make cheese out of it. And I guess they got a little restaurant out front and we're gonna try some grilled cheese sandwiches right now. Quick little sandwich review here. What do you think, man? It's super good. Ah, unreal. So we got the, what is this called? The bacon, bacon, me, bacon me crazy bacon me crazy grilled cheese sandwich those things to die for well we just had lunch at the Hillmar cheese company and uh, that was excellent food they had like 10 probably 20 grilled cheese sandwiches you could pick from and it was really good. I definitely would recommend grabbing some lunch here sometime. But that is gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope to see you in the next one.